Good morning, YouTube. Mochismo Eugene. Another video. Quick video from Exit Strategy. Uh, today. I'm still in bed, as you can see. Relaxing for another 10, 15 minutes, and then I'm going to have some coffee and, you know, get to it. Do some stuff today. Some work, most, in the, most often. Today is uh, my birthday. I'm 53 today. Two people wished me happy birthday so far. One was my uh, baby sister, my youngest sister, who lives in another state. The other one was a narcissist who I was engaged with for a very short time. When I say engaged, not as a marriage engagement. Just I engaged with them for maybe a month. Maybe a little bit longer than that. Didn't last long. Because out the gate I understood what she was. And we'll often. As empaths. Not all of us. Some of us just. Uh, we detest them on sight. Uh, in my case. Uh, she was. You know the physical attraction was there. I mean as far as. Uh, you know physical. Uh, attraction. She had some. She's. She's a fairly decent looking girl, but uh, as you always know, there is a look about them that is undeniable. They can not look you in the eye, and they have this silly little grin, little chuckle immediately after you first meet them. But, you know, if you didn't recognize it as narcissistic disorder, um, you would just you would dismiss it because you're caught up in the physicalities and oftentimes guys you might be thinking man I want to hit a home run with this one so uh, I'm not going to scrutinize her that much but unfortunately I saw everything that um, I should have seen from the beginning I interacted with her once uh, but beyond that you know to the point where as a man or as a human being that has a moral compass and you know you're uh, rolling around with somebody who is very demonic. It speaks to, you know, the character building inside of me that is still in, uh, you know, it's a, uh, it's a work in progress. And I'm not making excuses here. Just kind of want to come on and say, uh, keep pushing forward, guys, because every supposed mistake or mishap or relapse if you will with a potential person that ends up being a narcissist or you discover as a narcissist that is to your advantage at the end of the day because these experiences you can't trade them you can't learn them in school um the dsm four and five i don't think can adequately accurately depict what you and I have lived uh, verbatim because if uh, an empath wrote a book on narcissists and the experiences that we've uh, encountered it wouldn't be a New York bestseller because it doesn't work that way in life It'd probably have you committed because this is a secret that society does not want to get out so today, I'm 53. My twins are here. They live here, of course. But they so happen to be here this week with me. They go to school next week. Um, I'll probably do something with them later on in the day. But until then, they're in the bed. They're still sleeping. Kids sleep longer today. I don't know why they sleep till 12, 1 o'clock in the evening or afternoon. So... Um, just, you know, just a little rambling this morning. Very grateful to be on my health and strength. And for my birthday, I think I already got it. I'm awake. I don't think you can put a price on being awake. This is probably the best birthday ever. I said that when I was 50. Or was it 51 or 52? One of them. But I had never said that before. The... Uh, that one uh, so this is uh, undeniably the 
the best one. And I think at my 50th, yeah, the Narcissus was a gun. So that's probably what I compared it to being the best. And it's only getting better. So if you encounter these people, you know, take heart, be of good cheer. Don't beat yourself up because you may go a little bit back and forth with yourself, within your reasoning, uh, you know, rationalizing, should I continue or should not? And oh, the second person that I said uh, wished me a happy birthday was the narcissist on Snapchat. And obviously you know what the reply was, crickets. Nothing that they have I desire, nothing that they want to contribute to my life do I have any interest in. And uh, <laughs> I think Paula on Narcon, she said, karma, she said, karma, karma is better served cold, not reheated. And uh, to some degree, like, that's how it went, but this is not to even be mean. This is to just continue to move in your um, in your light, move in your right uh, lane, and move in your purpose. Because anything other than that, with regards to the narcissist, is just it's detrimental, it's time consuming, and it's distractive. So everyone out there, you guys have a wonderful morning and have a beautiful Friday. And hopefully I'll talk to you on another video, either today or the weekend. Bless.